No. This is gonna be a long fucking day. That's for sure. Alright, Emery. I have to go to Manjapur to explain our massive power drain to the governing council. My train leaves in 8 minutes. Bill is in a coma because of his kidney beans. And Space Byron has to give a statement to the press. Everything rests on your shoulders. What are your directives? Okay, Monica. Yeah, 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 I, I got it, Monica. I'm stepping up to the plate. You can trust me to step up to the plate. That's what I'm doing. Um, directive one is to get somebody out to the village of Ham to finally conduct that interview with Zoran Markovic. That's easy enough. Directive two is to make sure that Space Byron doesn't go off script when he talks to the press, that he says the bare minimum regarding the simulation. Uh, directive three is to locate Bill's file on Tony Pepitoni. Uh, even though Bill lost it, and the only person who knows where it could be is Bill, and Bill is in a coma because of his kidney beans, but, uh, sure, yeah, I'm gonna, we're gonna try to find that file that nobody knows where it is. And directive number four is no more simulations while you're gone, or for that matter, ever again. And, uh, you know, we're gonna, we're gonna keep it, keep things tight around here. We're gonna keep it tight. You can count on me. I will, I will do everything right. I will just do everything right and buy the book. Do not fuck this up. I keep telling everyone to like and subscribe to these videos, and uh, nobody's doing it. That kind of pisses me off. So just hurry up and do it. Like and subscribe. It's easy. Fuck Monica. She says she's going to justify fucking expenditures. But we all know what's really going on because of what she did to come by. She's going to face a grand tribunal or something to that effect. Fuck her. I wish I liked Emery. I really do. But he's such a little bitch ass and a punk. And I'm pretty certain he's the one who's been spreading the story that I allegedly did or did not rape fuck cum bot and his face mouth. Which may or may not have happened, in theory because of Space Byron's simulation, which is contextually hypothetical. And now my career is in jeopardy. Compressions. 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 Nurse Becky, this is... This is not working. You, you pumping in, you pumping out. You must, you must apply more pain to the testicles. The testicles require much more pain to get the blockage flowing. He needs pain. He needs pain. Yes, yes, more of that. More squishing testicles. Just squish the testicles. Oh, okay, okay. I will be back later this afternoon. Did you hear? The fucking cops ran a simulation experiment. That's why all the electricity went out, two days ago. Goddamn cops playing with our health and safety. It's true. My girlfriend used to work at the power plant, before she overdosed, and she still has friends there. The biggest power drain Mars has ever seen, all to run a simulation experiment. If the tiniest thing goes wrong, that shit can bleed out into reality. I'm just an out of work actor with a heroin addiction, so don't take my word for it. Ask around. Think for yourselves. Do your own research. Even the mainstream newspaper is trying to dig up the full story. Shut up, homo!
Are you doing an interview today? Are you doing an interview with the newspaper? Are the newspaper people going to touch your balls? Are you spending some time with your little friend? Is that your little friend, Lofi? Is that Lofi who's back from the dead who's your little friend? What things can you do to him? Can you touch him? Where can you touch little Lofi? I am rubbing him right now. I am rubbing him on his back and shoulders, and I'm going to rub him in a very special way. I'm going to rub him in a very special way just as soon as I have a chance to rest. Oh my, oh my fucking Jesus fucking Christ. Oh my God. Okay. What is worse, Monica's oh. fucking directives or listening to these three fucking perverts all morning? That vicious, that vicious fucking woman. She gives me four fucking directives. I can't, I can't fucking find the file on the fucking file, the file, the fucking file of Tony Peppertoni. What the fuck? What, like, did, did fucking Bill wipe his ass with it? Who the fuck knows? I don't know where the fuck it is. I'm just gonna fuck this up. I'm just having a fucking panic attack and, oh. Oh, don't, don't you even think of fucking doing your fucking documentary TV show today, you fucking cunt. I got no fucking patience for this. I'm fucking dying. I'm fucking dying inside. I'm fucking dying inside in space, Byron. Oh, fuck, fucking space. Oh, fuck me. I'm fucking hard. Okay, thank fucking God you're here. Thank God you're here, Pedro. You might think you have the fucking day off. You might think that your fucking shift is done and that you have the day off, but no, you gotta go to the village of fucking Ham. You gotta go to the village of Ham because Bill was supposed to interview Zoran Markovic, but he didn't do it because Space Byron ran a fucking simulation, and so that meeting never happened because Bill got fucking kidney beans and whatever. Look at this face. You've seen the face around the fucking station here. You know the face. He's just a burned up fucking cunt. You have to go and interview him. Just, fuck, I don't care. Whatever, just go. Go, you have to go or I'm gonna fucking die. I'm gonna die from the fucking stress. <sighs> the three of us should go on vacation sometime. Find some tropical planet somewhere just for the three of us. I like coconut oil. I'm leaving. Space Baron, that means you're here alone with your weirdo fucking friends. I'm going to the clinic to see Bill. They're doing compression therapy on him. Gotta get him to talk about that file. Anyway, the reporter arrives in 15 minutes. Just uh, stick to the script like we talked about. And that's all. I don't give a fuck. I'm out of here. Fuck me. I just... Oh, my fucking... This fucking day files and fucking Monica and fucking perverts. And, uh, I'm gonna... I need some sleep. Yes, the... Uh... The sheriff is is not doing so well. Nurse is is doing compression therapy on him as we speak, but the kidneys they are they are failing and he is dying in a coma and you just need to be prepared for that. You need to to steal yourself for he is not the man you used to know. Hey, how you doing? How's the compression therapy? Why does this place smell like a whorehouse? What's this thing do? This thing sucks the blood out of you? Okay, listen. I need to know where you put the file on Tony Peppertoni. Did you even make a file? Monica wants me to dig out the file, but nobody knows where you put it. You gotta find... I know you're in there listening to me. You gotta... I know you're in there. Okay, so you gotta listen to me. You gotta find a way to communicate with me. You have to find a way to communicate and tell me somehow, maybe by blinking, or by chewing, or by pointing, you gotta find a way to indicate to me where the Tony Pepper Tony file is. Listen to my voice. Concentrate on my voice. Hey, huh. I feel all like small and weird, and I'm in a strange, dark place. I'm small and weird and in a dark place. Huh. But I'm still me, I think. What's this? I, uh, I, I think I hear shark music. Is this a shark? Oh. Oh, hey. Hey, did I scare hey, you? Hey, it's Emery. You thought I was a shark, didn't you? Yeah, no, it's just me. That's a trick I do. I've, I've done that trick on you before where I pretend to be a shark. Listen. Emery. No. Hey. This is not really me. 
you're not really talking to me. You're hearing my voice. But the me that you're talking to right now, that's just that's just a thing that your mind has created. You're just imagining that I'm here. Oh, yeah, okay. Standing in front of you. Yeah, I mean, it, it does sound like you. It sounds like you. Hey, am I in a simulation? Are we in a simulation? This seems a bit like a simulation, doesn't it? I think we're in a simulation. No, this is... This is not a simulation. This is this is just your fucking mind. You're just in your fucking mind. Hello! Look, we're in Bill's mind. It's not a simulation. It's just you, you know, putting a face to my voice. My voice that you're hearing while I ask you for the file on Tony Peppertoni. Remember Tony Peppertoni? Tony. We like playing the Fluffy Tube game. Oh, oh fuck Tony that, Frickolini. Yeah. Uh, Tony Peeny uh, Pony. Tony Pepper. Tony Tiny Peeny Pony. Tony Pony Peppertoni. Tony. Tony, Tony Peppertoni. Peeny Pepperoni. You, you, Tony. you have to tell me where you put where you put the file. Find a way to indicate to me where you put the Tony Tony Peppertoni file. Tony Peppertoni. Tony Pony Peeny. Tony, Tony Peppertoni. Po- Tony Peppertoni. Just tell me. Find a way to tell me. Tony Peppertoni. We're talking about Tony Peppertoni. I think I made that file. I think I know. I think I know where I put it. Please say a few words about the simulation that occurred here that consumed all of the city's power and which reset the calendar to August 28th of next year. How is that possible? How did we lose four months of our lives? What happened here? Tell us about the people want to know. People are dying to know. People have already died and want to know about the simulation that occurred here. I'm, I'm not answering any questions about a simulation that didn't happen because no simulation happened. Simulations don't happen. Simulations and reality are indistinguishable from one another. Why would I talk about a thing that didn't happen? If I have one sandwich and I put another sandwich on top of that sandwich, would it be two sandwiches or would it just be a much bigger single sandwich? It's just one sandwich. There's just one sandwich. There was no sandwich. I made a simulation because I did what was right. Who doesn't like sandwiches? I am not taking any more questions.